agents here to assist you with your bidding. To my left, we have Ming Shu, who will be handing out blankets shortly. We also have Jody Wen to my left as well, and a lovely listing agent, Lily Liao, to my right. Now, should Zach. you have any Zach. questions? Zach. Oh, Zach is also here. Where's Zach? I can't see anyone back there. Oh, Lindy Scher's also joined us as well. Thank you for coming. Now, ladies and gentlemen, should you require any assistance with your bidding, or if you have any questions regarding the property or the auction process, please feel free to approach any of our fantastic agents. They'd be more than happy to assist you. Now, we are selling today by way of public auction, well, tonight, rather. This means that a 10% deposit will be required upon signing the unconditional contract. Settlement terms, 30 or 60 days. We are conducting a Schedule 1 auction this evening, which means that tonight's auction will be conducted in accordance with any rules or additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. Now, as the auctioneer, I will be indicating bidders on request and the vendors do have a reserve price. Now, as the auctioneer, I'm not accepting any bids or I'm not permitted to accept any bids or offers after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. In other words, this means that no late bids are permitted under Victorian law. The law also prohibits false bids from the crowd, prohibits major, prohibits major disruptions by bidders, prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this conduct. The rules do, however, permit vendor bids. And the words that I will use to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are simply the words vendor bid. Now by law, ladies and gentlemen, only I as the auctioneer may make a vendor bid this evening. Now, one of two things is going to happen tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Either one, we are going to sell this property under the hammer at or above the vendor's realistic reserve price, or two, the property will be passed in. Now, in the unlikely, in the unlikely event that the property is passed in, please note that only the highest bidder will be reserving the exclusive right to negotiate with the owner and agent at the completion of the auction. So two very important points that I'm going to reiterate. One, no late bids. Once the hammer has fallen, ladies and gentlemen, there's not many umbrellas in the crowd. Nevertheless, once the hammer has fallen, ladies and gentlemen, the property has sold. There are no second chances. There are no late bids. And as I said, if the property passes in, please note that only the highest bidder will have the chance of negotiating exclusively with the owner. It is absolutely critical that you remember these two points because in very simple terms, if you fail to bid this evening, you run the risk of missing out on this incredible opportunity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's a nice and cool evening, so I'm not gonna to spend too long, and the rain looks like it may be on the way, so I'm not gonna to spend too long going through the features that this property has to offer, mainly because I'm sure many of you are already aware of what is on offer this evening, which is 726 meters of well, square meters of prime real estate, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a developer looking to potentially build two on the block, if you are looking to build your dream home, if you're an investor looking to capitalize on this incredible location and the capital growth that it enjoys, if you are looking to renovate, then this really is a fantastic opportunity for you. All of which, of course, subject to council approval, a little disclaimer that I'm required to make, but given the development in the local area, I don't think you'll have too much difficulty getting your plans and permits through with council, ladies and gentlemen. The existing home, absolutely fine. If you're looking to lease the property out, certainly we can put some tenants in there for you. You can enjoy the rental deal while you get your plans and permits in order and help to mitigate the holding costs you might have over the first 12 to 24 months. Uh, property, I'm sure the owner would be happy for us to allow access prior to settlement occurring, minimizing your vacancy period throughout the process as well, ladies and gentlemen. So no work needs to be done before the property is leased out. If you are looking to owner occupied, suggest perhaps uh, a little bit of TLC would be required. In terms of the rear yard, we've got a huge backyard, of course, massive garage with an undercover area, there's water tanks and all the other little bits and pieces uh, that you could enjoy as well. In terms of the location, long list of, uh, of, uh, of local amenities. Of course, we're not far from Central Burwood. We're close to Ashwood High School. We're close to Gardner Creek Trail. We're also moments away, ladies and gentlemen, from PLC at Deakin University. We've got public transport on High Street Road, Jordanville Station, only moments away down High Street to the Glen as well. Chadston, Melbourne's fashion capital, also only a stone throw away. So, ladies and gentlemen, I did promise I'd be brief, so I'll stick to my word, but let me summarize. Public transport, fantastic schools, shopping, restaurants, 
all at your doorstep on this incredible block of land. Let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna hand it over to you. Where can I see a fair and reasonable opening bid? I don't mind where we start, but we are here to sell. You're here to buy tonight. Who'd like to get me started and raise their hand with a fair and reasonable opening bid? I can assure you vendors... Res Sorry, sir. 1.1, 1 .1. I was about, 1.2, you know, I was about to say the vendors reserve, very realistic, we hit that reserve at 1.1, we're now at 1.2, so ladies and gentlemen, we are on the market already, we are selling tonight, make no mistake, we are playing for keeps, 1.2 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen, happy to look at a rise of 50, or less potentially, 25, if you like, so we're currently, sorry sir, where was that, over to my right, thank you. So 1.3, 1.3, big strong bid at 1.3, ladies and gentlemen. So 1.3 million directly over here. Happy to take another rise at 25 if you like, sir. We're at 1.3 million. Same applies. Like, sorry. 1.31. 1.31. I'll take the 10. Why not? And I'll welcome you back, sir. 1.35. Welcome back at 1.35. Good strong bid. I can't see who's bidding, but I can hear. 1.3. I'll assume these people are real, me by the way. Yeah. I'm so, that's a real estate joke, not to be taken seriously. 1.35, Ming, is that correct? That's right. All right, 1.35, everyone, welcome back with the $10,000 bid. So 1.35, as I said earlier, we are selling tonight. We are on the market, we are playing for keeps. 1.315. My apologies, one point three five. Yes, I'll take it, Ming, back at you. 1.355, same courtesy, 5,000 if you like. Might not do the trick though. $1,355,000 looking for a rise of five or more, preferably more, of course. $1,355,000. As I said, we are selling tonight. We are playing for keeps. Make no mistake. First call, ladies and gentlemen, at $1,355,000. Second call, at $1,000,000. 60. So welcome to bidding at 60. I assume that's your first bid. As I said, I can't see anyone. 1.36 now. Zach against you. 1,360, sir, also against you. And I think we had a bid over to my left here at some point. 1,360,000. Looking for another five or more. 1,360,000. Bid directly in front of me here with you, sir. 1,360,000 going once. 1,360,000 twice. 1,360,000 dollars. Third and final one. time. One. Three, six, five. One. I'm not taking one, sorry, one, sir. 5,000 is what I'm after. 1.36 looking one, for. Four, three, seven. Thank you, Ming. 1.37. Sir? Five. 1.375. Welcome back at 1.375. 1.375, looking for a rise of another 5,000 and 1.38. 1.375, 3.8, welcome back at 3.8. 3.85, sir. 3.85 against you, Ming, at 3.85. Looking for 3.90 now. 1,360,000. 1.370, welcome back at 1.370. 1.370, looking for a rise of another 5,000 to 1.380. 3-9. Three 3-9. Nine. Three nine. Welcome back at 3-9. Sir, against you at 3-9. 3-9-5. There it is. $1,395,000, sir, against you at 3-9-5. Looking for an even 1.4 now. $1,395,000. Looking for 5,000 to bring this to 1.4. First call at 1.395. 1.4. Welcome back at 1.4. Sir, against you. There it is. 405. Straight back at you at 405. Yes, I got that. Thank you, Lindy. 405. Ming, against you at 405, looking for 410. $1,405,000. First call. $1,405,000. Second call. $1,405,000. Sorry? 5,000. So 410. Thank you very much. 410. There we go. 1,415. Thank you, Lindy. 1,415 against you, Zach, at 415 now. Looking for 420 or more. 415 directly in front of me here, looking for 420. So we're currently $1,415,000, looking for a rise of five to 1420 now. 
Zach Ming against you both. One million four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. First call. Second call. Third and final call. One four two five. One four two five. So welcome back at one four two five. One million four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Lindy and the gentleman next to you against you at one million four hundred and twenty-five. Looking for four three zero. One million four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, looking for a rise of at least five to four hundred and thirty. One million four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars going once. One million four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars twice. One million four hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. Are we all done? Are we all silent? We all finished? Make no mistake, as I said, the hammer will fall. This may be your final chance to secure this property. One million four hundred and twenty-five. Do we have an answer, sir? Yes or no? In or out? Hundred percent. Okay, thank you very much for your bidding, sir. Now, I'm not sure who else was bidding over here. We're at $1,425,000 looking for a rise of five. I'm going to call it one final time before I knock the hammer down. One million four. What about two I'll take the two. Four, two, seven. Yeah. Sir, four, three, zero, perhaps. I'll take another two, though. Four, twenty-seven, bid with you. Two. Four, two, nine. Thank you, Ming. Four, two, nine. Zach against you at four, two, nine. One million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars looking for a rise of at least two, preferably more of course. One million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, first call at one million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Second call at one million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars. Third and final time at one million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Zach, do we have an answer? Quite confusing, the buyers are standing literally next to each other, but that's okay. And I can't see either of them. <laughs> 1,429,000. Zach, I'm going to call it one final time before we knock it down. Perhaps you'd like to remind your buyer that there are no late bids permitted under Victorian law. In other words, you snooze, you lose, Jody. 1,429,000 dollars going once. 1,429,000 dollars twice. One million four hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars third and final time, ladies and gentlemen. If we are all done and we are all silent and we are all finished, Zach, do we have an answer? I'm about to knock it down. Yes or no? The hammer is falling, ladies and gentlemen. Dirty. There he is back. He's back on the buzzer. You're just you're just toying with us, aren't you? One million four hundred and thirty thousand dollars. 35. 35. Welcome back at 35. No much you now at 435. $1,435,000, sir. What do you say? Well, there you go. You can buy elsewhere for more as well. Same applies. $1,435,000. Bid is with you, sir. It's looking quite good at the moment. Zach, do we have an answer? We've had plenty of time to think about it, but out of courtesy to this lovely oh, couple to my right, we will be knocking them. Oh, you are a couple, I assume. I've done that before. I was a brother and a sister. One at least so far, mate. That's that? what happens now. I said at least so far. Don't know what happens. Oh, I was going to say that. I'm not going to participate with that conversation. That's a minefield, that one. $1,435,000. I'm going to call it one final time, Zach and Lindy. If we don't have an answer, hammer is falling. $1,435,000. First call. Second call. Third and final call, 1,435, ladies and gentlemen, if we're all done, all silent, all finished, and tonight I have the pleasure of announcing that we are selling, we are selling, we have sold! Well done guys, good strong bidding, thank you very much for attending another Big & Scott auction, ladies and gentlemen, have a very lovely evening. That was rough. I, my hand was numb and I just spanked it. <laughs>